This essay question is about interpreting a p-value in a sentence. It says, imagine that someone claimed that the average temperature in Byron, Minnesota was 52 degrees. That is a claim or a null hypothesis. If I challenge this by saying it was not 52 degrees, which means that mu is not equal to 52 degrees as my alternative, my sample average was 46 degrees, so I collected some data, I got a sample average of 46 degrees, and my test, meaning my hypothesis, obtained a p-value of 0.12, p-value is 0.12, you should be writing all of these things down as we go. How would you describe my p-value in a clear sentence? Do not be too general, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and look at what notes I've been writing down as I've read through this. I have mu uh, equal to 52, mu not equal to 52. This would be my null. This would be my alternative hypothesis. Then I have my sample data. My x bar is equal to 46 degrees and my p-value of 0.12. I want to turn this into a sentence. I'm going to always start with my p-value itself. So there is a 12% chance of something happening. 12, a 0.12 probability of, so I've got my p-value used up, 12% chance of finding a sample something. We need to decide mean or proportion. This is all quantitative, so it is a mean. So a sample mean as high, low, or extreme. In this case, it would be not equal, so as extreme as what I got, which is 46 degrees, when we assume that the null is true, that mu is equal to 52 degrees. So there's a 12% chance of finding a sample mean as extreme as 46 degrees when we assume that mu is equal to 52 degrees. And that would be uh, one good way to interpret that sentence. So something like that would definitely work.